A broad view of social engineering attack lifecycle has six phases. They are research, developing report and trust, exploiting trust and utilizing information, clock activities and evolve or regress. Now we'll explain each of these steps in details. Let us start with the first step, which is research. It is an information gathering process where information about the target is retrieved. The attacker gathers as much information as possible about the target before starting the attack. Some methods are obvious and require no great cunning or planning, while others require certain skills or knowledge. If industrial espionage is the aim, the attacker learns everything about the victim or the organizations with the help of all available resources, social networking sites, etc. Typical information that may be gathered could be an internal phone directory, birth dates, organizational charts, personal records, social activities, relationships, etc. The second step of social engineering attack cycle is developing rapport and trust. The social engineer capitalizes on the psychological aspect of trust. The target is more likely to divulge requested information to an attacker if he trusts the attacker. Rapport and trust development can be done by using insider information, misrepresenting an identity, citing those known to the victim, showing a need for assistance or occupying an authoritative role. Once trust is established, the hacker will be able to start acquiring sensitive information and access necessary to break into the system. The skilled hacker will gain information very slowly, asking only for small favors or gaining information through seemingly innocent conversations. The hacker will work hard to maintain an apparently innocent relationship while learning company lingo, names of key personals, names of important servers and applications, and a host of other valuable information. If an attacker feels hesitation in the voice on the other end of the phone, he or she will stick to simple questions and hope to gain more information from the next individual he or she chooses to call. The larger the organization, the easier it is to establish trust. In a smaller environment, the target is much more likely to know whether or not the attacker is who they say they are. Trust is important to establish both as a technique on its own as well as in combination with other techniques. The third step of social engineering attack cycle is exploiting trust factor. When a target appears to trust an attacker, the attacker exploits the trust to elicit information from the target. This can either take a form of request for information a request for a specified action from the victim or alternatively to manipulate the victim into asking the attacker for help. This phase is where the previously established relationship is abused to get the initially desired information or action. The fourth step of social engineering attack cycle is utilize and execute. The outcome of the previous phase is utilized to reach the goal of the attack or to move on to further steps which may be required to reach the goal. The execute step is where the attacker does something that is clearly illegal or not allowed. For instance, when the target is asking to submit his login information or when the nefarious emails are sent. The fifth step of social engineering attack cycle is recruit and cloak. Cloak is the actions performed after the execution actions performed in order to hide the illegal activities. It can be to continue with the friendship to normalize the actions, moves to make the victim seem untrustworthy or more advanced techniques to hide the crime. In some cases, the victim can be recruited to either work for the attacker or as an ambassador or reference for the attacker. The sixth and the final step of social engineering attack cycle is evolve or regress. This is where the attacker learns from the process and creates an internal justification for what has happened. There are basically two choices for the attacker here. Either the attack evolves, moving into another phase of the attack if the process has been successful, 
up to this step. The other choice is if the results to this point have been unsuccessful, which can either be to stop the attack or to move to a more basic level of attack in order to be successful again. The gathered information can then be used to target and explore more deeper into the victim until finally attackers convince their target to divulge the information they need to achieve the goal. So these were six phases of social engineering attack cycle. 